Welcome back, everyone. So we got part three coming up tonight. So we left off last time uh, just outside clouds, if I correctly. Uh, or at the very least, we're on our way to clouds. So we're going to get at least that done tonight. This might be a bit of a shorter one. Uh, just because of the fact that uh, currently it's about 10.30 local. So we to get the start about an hour ago. Um, so if it is a little shorter, that's why. But, uh, but yeah, hope, the, uh, hope you'll join me. Let's have some fun. Let's uh, go have some uh, rampage through the city. Let's uh, set some things on fire and clean ourselves. Let's jump on it. All right. Let's get this up. Okay, perfect. All right. So we're hopping right back in howdy, howdy, where we City. left Welcome off. Back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome Actually, to the show. Let me make sure before we get fully uh, Hello, Ziggy. Here. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. I'd hear my Discord. The right streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded sure homicides uh, drop from 7,103 a year ago to it's just. Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? I'm, I'm sorry. You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, but, uh, sweetheart, group don't one, feed us some uh, NCPD script. Be honest with our viewers. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall or to take their kids to play ball in the park? Uh, I, the, the NCPD is doing everything it can. Huh. Look at that cop squirm. Yeah. All right, here we are. Yeah, okay, so we're on uh, Jig Jig Street here. So first order of business is just going to be to go up because I think, yeah, this is the mega building right here. So we are right here at the base of the mission. So um, let's head on up. Let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? We uh, <laughs> we discussed what is Graham She Burgers. Uh, it is at the very least. It looks like a, a retro futuristic, possibly. I'm going to go with uh, Slavic script of some kind there, because that do look like some Cyrillic, which is uh, kind of interesting given the current state of world events, but now we know what a Gramsci Burgers looks like. Ah, yeah, so these guys... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot at them here because I don't want the whole building on high alert when I run up here. But why you play baby game? I have no idea what baby game you're talking about, Firein. This is this is the good game. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bet. Okay. Johnny is not happy we're here. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Think uh, Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. <laughs> I always love that exchange. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. We're out. All right. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Oh baby, I hope. Would you, you care do. to jack into the terminal? Uh, well, I'm looking for looking Evelyn. for Evelyn Parker. She work here. Hmm. Give me a moment. 
Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. All right. Uh, well, I just kind of want to talk with her. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. That... <sighs> I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? <laughs> Fuck Thanks, the Jack. menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Uh, let's meaning, entertain this. Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. We may be doing that. Now for your safe word. Alright. Uh... Let's do Samurai. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal Before. profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? I'm just glad that, you know, she knows that I'm special too. Like, that's all. That's that's all I need is a little recognition every now and then. Uh, I believe Sky, I believe was the, the girl. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't if I get this wrong, whatever, myself. you know. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Oh, that was real clever. I'm sure you don't say that to everyone who comes in here. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. <laughs> Sky uh, awaits mean... you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Sick. All right. Um. Wait, why can't I? Okay, so I can open that menu, but I can't open my. Inventory. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. You won't find any use Sad. for weapons inside. Go eat a dick, Johnny. <laughs> I just wanted to check how we hope you enjoy weighted your stay. down we were. All right, so let's talk about kind of how we're going to approach this. So, um, so there are like two main ways we can kind of go through this, um, which is stealthy or just shoot everything. Obviously, the shoot everything approach gets really hard because we don't have any guns. So I think we're probably going to approach this stealth. Uh, at least initially, I'm going to try and stay out of the line of fire as much as I humanly can. Um, just because this gets very difficult, even on a normal playthrough. Again, basing all my judgments on things like that uh, from my experience pre-1.5. So uh, I don't think it's gotten easier. <laughs> The fact that Ellie... Oh, no, we I picked the girl. Fire rain telling me I picked the Hi, dude. Hi, I'm Sky, And you must be... Vincent? Uh, uh... Just V. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. 
I always, this is always so weird because it's like, so let's talk about the fact you're dying. It's like, oh baby. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. So I'm always like kind of wondering, because obviously I, like I've said on uh, the previous streams, play the role playing game in real life. So I'm just like really wondering how exactly the doll chips work. Um, just from like a basic functionality standpoint, like, okay, so I get this chip implanted. It obviously has the ability to at least while active control my actions and do so without my conscious mind recording any of it as we kind of will see here shortly but like obviously it's intuiting you know like this is what you need we need to talk about the fact you're dying uh you know you're, you're dealing with some things right now and we really need to talk about that it's like okay so <laughs> we need to talk about that how the hell does this does this person know that that is what is going on with me uh obviously like there's some telemetry from like jacking at the desk you feed data into the system so obviously some of that's going to filter i'm sure down downstream to whoever the the doll is that you're working with but uh yeah it just it's very odd just especially once you get to the point where you kind of see this this trance snap and they they remember nothing about it so they're not consciously processing most of this at least to my understanding uh and then like the the attitude shift towards your needs or your like what you're going through that they're like so interested in when they're tranced is like totally absent there and i get like that 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 is probably pretty normal given kind of like the fact that essentially this is like hey we're gonna hypnotize you for like i don't know however long your client needs you and uh you know, things could happen. <laughs> you, maybe you'll have a therapy session. Maybe you'll end up banging. We don't know which. It's like... <laughs> like, because it's strongly implied that this is sex work. At a base level. So I'm just like... I'm very, like, intrigued by the fact that, like... Okay, so we're just going to hypnotize you. And whatever happens, happens. Kind of, like... It's kind of like, uh, it's both spooky as hell, just that, like, yeah, we're just going to, like, do this. You're going to have no memory of it. You're going to have no ability to, like, self-intervene. And then on top of that, we're also going to make it so that, uh, that, you know, like, we're just going to pass telemetry through you. Like, you're just, like, a flesh bot, basically. And whatever happens to you, happens to you. That's that's just the way it flies. But, I mean, that, if, if it really was just that base and, like just that simple uh it would explain a lot of the stigma toward people who get doll chips because there's like a lot of that in the game that there's like oh you got a doll chip what are you doing like why why would you do that it's like seen as based on context obviously uh it's seen from what i can gather as like a very desperate move like oh you're a sex worker that's cool like you're a joy toy out on jig jig street or whatever that's cool like, if you're just doing, you know, like, street corner prostitution, like, the good old days, like, that's cool. We're good with that. Totally fine. No problem. You have full awareness. You have your full ability to self-intervene. Like, chill, chill, chill. Uh, that's what, like, all the girls at Lizzie's, chill with all that. You know, brain dance stuff, porn stuff, all good. Classic sex work in the act. Fantastic. Uh, the moment, though... <laughs> You get a hypno chip implanted in you. Now we've got a problem. And I get why that would be just from like the worker's perspective. That makes a ton of sense. But it just, it makes me wonder like, okay, but then like, what was the initial value proposition for these things? Like, that's always kind of what I'm wondering is like, 
what in the world, even if it's warped, even if it's like this just janky corporate perspective on like, well, this you see helps us do this other thing or like boost productivity in this really sketchy, probably not humane way. So I'm just kind of like, what? Like, was this just seen as like a way to like avoid trauma from it? Maybe? I don't know. That's shower thoughts in cyberpunk this is what we do here um but i could see it because um part of the deep lore again we're gonna stay paused here for just a, a minute longer and then i'll get back i promise um part of the deep lore of cyberpunk uh says that brain dances the things that like let you experience other people's memories or experiences um you know, and obviously they can be edited and all that, but that tech was initially made, I think, in the lore it was by Harvard? It was either Harvard or um, the University of California. And they made it to deal with, uh, with trauma. It was like a therapy tool so that you could go back relive and then by experience edit your memory of like experiences so you could kind of confront your trauma head on and like deal with it with a therapist head on rather than forcing yourself to like recollect what you had before so like brain dance was originally used in therapy and then later uh it was also seen as a and i'm sure that there was probably some black use of it this way as well uh, by, by governments or law enforcement. But in the lore, it's also said that even in the time of the Red, that, that the current edition of the tabletop takes place, uh, the police and other law enforcement agencies use it as a punishment. And it's definitely, I believe, stated that is oh, stated as rumor or maybe even factually confirmed that they use it to torture. Um... So, you know, like, high-tech war crimes. Yay. Uh, but yeah, so, like, the point of me saying all of that is the brain dance was developed for one thing, and then it became adapted for entertainment uses. It was not built for entertainment as its primary use, but it became, uh, it became uh, developed into that. It evolved into that. Um, so I could almost see the doll chips being something like, hey, need to do some trauma shit? Like, go into a war zone? Well, what if we don't have to treat our, uh, what if we don't have to treat our veterans anymore? We just implant them with this chip. There are little flesh bots on the ground. And, uh, you know, in cases where making robots or, uh, like, autonomous fighters is thin uh, or difficult to do because of whatever your local economy is, as long as you can fabricate this one little chip, you know, you'll have a bunch of uh, ranting, raving super soldiers that'll charge at the enemy and don't even respond to pain because they literally cannot consciously process it because of the quote unquote miracle of technology. And then maybe from there, uh, it became adapted for other uses like sex work, uh, which it's still, it's still sketchy. Like none of that's good, but you know. We think about these things here. <laughs> the ethics of an ethicless society. We love it. It's so fun. Anyway. Oh, whoops. Coming back to this. Let's see. Uh, what What I'm afraid of. I think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds like the most open-ended bait I've ever heard of. Uh, I died, now I'm dying again. I mean, yeah. Hey, talk to me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pushy. Uh... I snuffed it once, and I'm going to do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Abby? You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? 
That's interesting. I need to check that later. I heard voices on my right side there, and I'm not sure if it's just like people out in the hallway that were having crosstalk, or that was like something else. It's interesting. Like it was definitely in the game, but it was it just like very prominent. Like there were like two voices in my right ear. Uh, so let's see. Um, pure fame. Wasn't so long ago. I really wanted that, but then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. Samurai. <laughs> we're, we're getting too real. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Okay. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth two, I think. I mean, you know... Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. <laughs> v, you don't have to be that way. What do you think is an XPD star? I mean, I can hope. I can dream. Like I said, we're open to all of it here. I ain't judging. I ain't uh, picky in that regard. Not bad, buddy. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? There a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? <laughs> Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. All right. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> Where are you going? Just around the corner. No need to worry about me. Grab your snappy. All right, so the only problem, this guy only had a sword on him, uh, so less than ideal.
Anything, whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. You better keep this short and sweet. Too brainwashed. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. All right, so now we get really careful about what we do and where we do it. All right, so let's break in. Let's see what we got. So we got... Uh, da, 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 da. Cool, so... Do that. We're going to turn this off. That's the whole point. They're not supposed to remember. Not a Oh, well, I guess the, uh... Oh, well, there's an Ajax. I'll take that. That's good by me. Okay. Um... Okay, so that camera... Okay, so that's smart glass. So let's... Yeah, let's ping really quick just so I can see exactly who and what we're dealing with. Yeah, I'm good. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Uh, can we? Okay, so both of those are no pass. So cool. Mm. Means we now gotta go kind of the janky hard way here. Because let's see, so that smart glass isn't really gonna be a problem. I will wait for this. Uh, We'll wait for this, uh, okay, because, let me see. Have wait. you ever heard of Jotaro Shobo? He's one of the T-Claws. Yeah, I've heard. A fucking psycho. That should hurt people. The monks have him on their blacklist. Some girls marked him for death. And that's all pudding, honey. But so what? Asso's not this familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. It's crumbled like a tissue. Ooh, Must I've never gone while. through this path before. I'll believe it when I see his rotting, stinking corpse. Amen to that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in, in, in my capacity. Okay, so let's see. So is there another exit out Hold there? Hold it there, honey. You seem to be in the wrong place. Hey, no peeking. Bad luck sings like this. <laughs> All right. Um, so I think there's a dude on the other side of this. Maybe not. Ooh, OK. This is a wholly different route. I've never been down this way before. I've never approached the mission from this angle. That's actually really cool. All right. So I believe. Uh, let's see. So 
so if I open this, I'm assuming... Okay. So... I can hear a camera. Someone's got COVID or something in here. Let's see. Ah, uh, you must be the dude I was looking for. Okay. Okay, and then this is our exit, basically, that we were locked out of opening. So I'm gonna open that just to establish a way out. Open this. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna approach this with reboot optics, I think. Because then we can just uh, grab. Snap. Grab another VIP token, why not? We'll grab the Pulsar. Do you have access to the local? Oh, we do have access to the local network. So we're going to unlock a door. Files, Netrunner, found Netrunner attacked, induces psychotic upset in the doll, in anticipation of a possible all of assault on clouds 2-6, all crew, uh, da, 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 da. um, so it's found the Netrunner attack, induced a psychotic upset in the doll, in anticipation of a possible all out assault on clouds at 2.06 a.m., all of cloud security were requested on the premises, 10 minutes later, tire clouds reinforcements were called, luckily. Booth 11 was the Netrunner's sole target. Interesting. Tell the floor's moonlight is peeping toms. You always got eyes in their dolls. Know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Okay, so what's this? Schedule. Something sp Yeah, this is a wholly different route. I've literally never done this route before. This is insane. Uh, let's see, so Flint and U shift change. Uh, da, da, da. Interesting. Okay, so they don't eat them. Right there, see that? Two way in, they hauled every last security man to the club. It looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Yeah, so they don't specifically mention Evelyn anywhere, so unless she was the one in booth 11, that's like kind of my only other kind of like thing that I'm kind of forced to work on, I guess. Let me see. So I'ma just, uh, we'll shoot. I thought that there was like a drop point back there for like, I can just dump the body. Or is that over here? Uh, I mean, in fairness, this is uh, fine. He, he can take his nap here. Um, let's see. So let's look through some stuff. Unless, hold on. Okay. Why did I have a feeling that there was going to be something? Ah, there's a legendary. Left of course. Could have had more than one. All the shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Yep. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, there's one other thing here. Okay. Whoa, 
What the hell, dude? Okay, so we messed this up a lot, but that's okay. I'm gonna just, um... Because I didn't realize he was an enemy. I thought maybe I misread that earlier when I saw that. So, uh, if we die here, we kind of know what we're doing at least. So that's uh, definitely not the worst. And yeah, we'll just use some pistols, our last thing. Uh, let's switch to Katana. Uh, Katana. <laughs> mistake in uh, prep on my part. I will own that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So that should reset us probably, I would imagine, to finding our handbag. If of course. Yeah. Okay. Good. Could have had more than one. So I know I talked All in a previous stream about though. sometimes the game left in a hurry. is merciful with its resets and other times it is merciless. It was merciful to us this time. So I will take that. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, this dude was already taking a dirt nap. Cool. All right. So from here. So I'm going to see, yeah, if we can follow the Evelyn's booth route. Because I live. What? <laughs> but I'm allowed here. For a blood bath. What? I feel betrayed right now. What? I'm allowed in this area of the establishment. What is what? <laughs> like that feels like such bullshit. Um. All right. Well, we're just gonna flick on all the weapons. I literally just. Why? Why is everyone so angry all of a sudden? Let's turn that one off. So, yeah, so we're going to go back to the handbag. I'm going to equip everything. I'm going to put down a safety save just so that we don't get the dialogue every time. Because um, I thought I could just wander back onto the lobby and like, no question. Because I just like, could've you know, like what? I'm just wandering All back the into the club. In it, Must have left in I'm just, hurry. you know, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Why, why we got to be like that? Um, okay, so yeah, let me, I'll just get this gear on just in case we need it like I said don't anticipate needing it but if I do end up getting into a scuffle again I can kind of work my way around that uh, let me see do we have a those are just stealth ones right yeah they're just silencers okay sick Ooh, I do like that flourish with the uh, Katana, that's pretty cool. Alright. Six. So we'll just put that all away. 
We can force this one open. That's sick. Okay. So now... Okay, so we have access here again. All right. Yeah, so then there's that asshole. So, what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, uh, let me see. Do we have a drop spot here for this guy? I don't think we do. But if I literally just reboot this dude's optics and then I just do a quick neck snap, then we can. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm good. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. <gasps> Jeez. Because that dude's swinging around, I literally could not grab him to snap his neck. That was annoying. Okay. All right, let's take a look. See at this. Uh, so Harry Flint, sup Chum, let's swap shifts for Saturday, bro. We ain't swapping shit. Come on, I'm begging you. Forget it, man. Saturday is always a fucking train wreck. For fuck's sake, Chum. My kid ran away from home, so go look for him. Maybe you'll find him before Saturday. I know where he is. Gotta go to my parents on Saturday tomorrow. Uh, Euro dollars to pay, out, uh, pay off the scabs. Those psychos. Oh my god. Those psychos will grind him up in the scop if I don't pay. I'm on my fucking knees, dude. Fine. Okay. So that literally gave me like nothing to work with. Um, right, so I'm just gonna pick this dude up. I'm gonna like, hey, did you not hear? You need to leave. I'm calling security. Ooh, that's a cocktail stick. That's fine. It's all good. This dude will just uh, take take a little nappy nap back here. Cool. All right. So now, uh, let me think. So how do we get inside Evelyn's booth? That's going to be like the hard thing here. Because if I pop my little head back out of, out of the, uh, the door here, not this door, the next door. All right, so this is where we put down that safety save I was talking about. Because we actually, like, got ourselves... Oh, why? Why can't I save right now? Okay, I was like, what do you mean I can't save right now? Okay, cool. So we got that. Um, so I'm yeah, just going to drop the safety save. I'm going to swap for the cocktail stick, just so I have that. And then I'm going to see... Ping. Okay, so this is what I think we're going to do. Because if I just reboot the dude's optics and then we like pop out after that happens, I think we're, we're probably in the clear because it's not technically hostile anymore, in theory. Yeah, now we're in the same area. Just like that. Yeah. No problems. while these guys are like getting that like notification thing going all right was i correct in assuming that it was booth 11 i was okay hall of you let's take a look shall we See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. 
They rip it out? Wonder why. Interesting. And then there was like some comment about like fresh blood. Where was that? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Ah, there. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. What's this? Interesting. Okay. So we're looking at beat stuff. Okay, yeah, and so now we're gonna watch the cyber psychosis hit. Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Oh, baby. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? That's a lot. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. All right. I'm liking this approach to the uh, the quest a little more. Because that just gave us a ton to play with um, on Woodman's end of things. So now that we know all of that, we can go take that to Woodman and be like, all right, dude, what the hell is this? Cool. So yeah, let's go talk to Woodman now, because I know right where he is. So now that we've got that figured out, let's, uh... I can't peek through his window like that, okay. Wait, no clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would ya? As you can see. I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Yeah, uh, I have a bad thing. Nah, that's not what you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Huh. Okay. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. Okay. Is that just because I'm, like, naked? Is that it? You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you whores here, not snitches. Mm, I look like either of those to you. Uh... Told you what you look like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? Ah, uh, let's see. Doll goes missing, client gets messed up, and management's just sitting there, sucking his thumb. Pretty strange for a place that advertised itself as 100% secure. You're gonna get to the bloody point. I can see it already. Headline in tomorrow's scream sheets. Got all the evidence I need, too. Hey, we don't need to spill any ink over this. It'd just make things worse. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. 
Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Yeah, so explain. Like, that's all I'm asking. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. So, uh, charming name. And don't come back here. Very charming. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. I'll be happy to go. Doc Fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Jeez. All right. All right. Cool, so yeah, I'm just gonna... You may take your weapons. Thank you. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. All right. Well, so we left things peacefully. We didn't even have to kill anyone that anyone knows about. Cool. You hire what? Oh, hold up. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy subterranean kind of way. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. No, Johnny, give me your psychic impressions. I really want to know. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine. <laughs> Uh, when Johnny says a fire would make the place shine, I have some questions about the methodology there. It's, uh, th there, there's some kind of fire we don't want to use here, Johnny. I'm right? just going to say that straight up. Kaboom! Saw you still my cheese door! An explosion of chase! My favorite snack. I love it. Ooh, yeah, we're having a good day. Real good day. You had a plan. You tried. You fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Baby. Oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, 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 damn it. Damn it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommiss before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. All right. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kind of honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. 
All right. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Come on, come on. You got more to say, so just say it. Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, Bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. All right. I'm sorry, sir. Could we have a moment of your time? All right. So on we go. Get the latest trusted scoop on Night City. I'm kind of wondering when this little fuzzy spell is going to clear up, because I remember there was a bug. I really hope this isn't the same thing, where uh, this would go on indefinitely. And I'm, I'm kind of seeing the uh, the area hostile here as well, so I'm kind of like thinking there's something glitched. What's up, Johnny? Oh, my. Please has a wicked vibe. M maybe it's the right choice. I, I don't know. Is this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to try and reload this. Um... Okay. Yeah, so that's just a small bug. Like okay. Oh. What up, Johnny? Here, kitty, kitty. What's the rush? I'm good. Thank you, though. Appreciate the form. For free. Fuck off. Yeah, gear looks a little basic, but it works. So he didn't ask for any money. Nada. Alrighty. Ah, here we go. These dudes. Okay. So let's start. I think. So we've got an attribute and we've got a perk. Um, let's see. I'm thinking body, uh, but what can we use the perk? Yeah, so the body's good just because then we get some extra HP, which we'll definitely probably want to have. I think we're going to take that recoil because that is actually kind of useful. And then I'm going to take the point and body. The reason we just did that is so that we can just hopefully fight these guys and get away with it. Um, uh, yeah, we need 10 body for that. But in the interim, let's see. Uh, yeah, so that's heavier damage up front. So I think we're gonna do a shotgun assault rifle. I think that that's the uh, the play. Because I don't really like the submachine guns because they kind of end up flying all over the place. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Looking for a ripper doc. Goes by fingers. Know where I can find him? Who's asking? And why? <laughs> Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. 
Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up? Heard Fingers was the best. Yeah, the best for joy girls. Are you a whore? No, but you are, from the look of things. Yo, you hear what this motherfucker said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around. Oh, it. we're gonna get our ass. Must apologize for that asshole. Uh, Gotta be worth a damn to get an apology from me. And your trash, not worth shit. Nobody talks that way to little loco. <laughs> Woo! That's uh, right. You get him, boy. Uh, ah, sick. All right. You're right. No one talks that way to little loco. I apologize. I made a huge grave, grave uh, judgment error that er, <laughs> error in judgment. My brain can't comprehend what a massive mistake that was. Let's try that again. Uh, Woo! That's right. You get him, boy. Yeah. Reload. Ah! Let's reboot your optics. Bye bye. All right. Oh, gracious creature! And, and benign! Just don't turn off the lights. Fingers. Know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? Oh, baby. In the end, all you got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. All right, so everyone's brains are fried. Woo! Hey, hands off! I think I'm scared of your skinny ass. You will be when every mockman's hound depends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Stop pussy. Up and leave me be. Hope that teaches right, those candy ass Scott suckers not to come around here. Made it all no the more. way here, huh? Must really want to talk to Evelyn. Huh? Hello? There's a line. Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. This is interesting because normally Judy's much more on your side when you get here. She's like, ah, oh, you arrived. This is great. I'm, now we can deal with them together. Right now she's really angry with me. Uh, yeah, so that's interesting. I guess I really pissed her off on this run. This is actually, like, I'm seeing all kinds of new parts of this uh, game that I have actually not seen on the other three runs. Like, this whole quest line is playing out totally differently than, uh, it has in the past like obviously like the fingers thing is you know i think that's like a hard hard fast like part that you have to go through but i've never seen judy this angry i've never seen the whole crime scene thing with evelyn's uh booth so yeah this is this is getting uh, very interesting i do not know what's going to happen next and that's actually kind of exciting your ass down and wait your turn what are you even doing here judy same thing as you looking for evelyn How'd you know to look for Evelyn here? Got friends at Clouds. Word spreads out of there quicker than the clap. <laughs> you mean? Friend told me what you dug up, so here I am. All right, sick. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Oh, I got something better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got one of those brains that does the thinking. I, I know how to do this. Hold on. High intelligence plays first. You'll look as intimidating as humanly possible. I give you the face of intimidation. Fear. He'll be shitting himself when he sees us walk through that door. Next. You have arms with muscles on them. 
that you can use to rip a door open with your bare hands. Notice we have no cyberware on these arms. So this is all meat, all authentic. We're going to just rip through this wall like it was nothing. Melted butter. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is my better, uh, Judy. Joink! Someone ain't messing around. What the hell? What the? Hey, this isn't some esquif den in Pacifica. Sit in, wait your turn. Yeah, no. Got a couple of questions. Quick you answer. Quick we'll leave you to get back to your patience. Logical through and through. Impossible to argue with. So please tell me what we need to know. We'll just get out of your. Uh, does that? Uh, you got kind of a thin. You see, here, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she came here to your clinic. Yes, but I have a procedure I must finish. May I? Well, you can go back and play doctor once you're done with us. I guess you'll have to wait, darling. Circumstance is what they are. My fucking I can't wait! There, there, wipe away your tears. Don't want any short circuiting now, do we? Yeah, this guy's, uh. I don't trust him any further than his hairline, and that's pretty, pretty thin. You tiger claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Yes, sir. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course... Forrest, name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Huh. Yeah, we Woodman talked. and I, we had a talk. Told me he brought her here to you. Said you paid him for her. What good was she to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. First of all, I didn't pay in any for her. He paid me to take her in. Second, I never laid eyes on those eddies in the end because I couldn't rejig her implant. So he left her with me as payment for my efforts. Uh, I can't fucking listen to this. We are talking about a living, breathing person. Half alive. Technically. Oh. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Okay, uh... Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. Which is? When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, 
I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why did all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mention something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. <laughs> I don't remember if those claw marks show up on his face. Uh, Need air. Pre 1.5. And uh, just for good measure, yeah, uh, we're just gonna do that. Feel bad for the girl with half her uh, face off, but you know, um, what was I supposed to do? Leave scum like that, you know, walking around conscious? No, we're gonna knock his ass on the ground. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky All for right. me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. All right. It's a plan. Let me think for a sec. Dark net domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Alright. So we're gonna go and... Uh... What on earth? I'm sorry, that totally caught... Like, that caught me off guard. I thought just because of how many people there are with, like, chrome skin... That that was, like, a real person. And I actually had to do a double take there. That was, uh, not totally okay. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Ugh. Kind of gets me the willies. Okay. Oh, this dude looks killable. I like that. Um, let's see. I got a new, because let me see. What does this thing do? Looks like a toy, cuts like a laser, sick. We like that, so that's uh, 63 to 77 physical damage. What does Cottonmouth do? It's a blunt weapon, that's fun. It's got electrical, chemical, wow. That's a lot. As they say, that's a lot of damage. Wait a minute, is that? What the hell is that on the top there? Is that like a mic or something? Hey, yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. All right. 
So for something not being lethal, uh, that dude ate it hard. Holy crap. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So it's a uh, basically like an electrified pimp cane. Very interesting. Not, not sure how I feel about where I got that, but hey, you know, we got what we got. All right, so Pleasures of Night City, login. Okay, we can do this. Uh, 1C times 4, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Sick. Let's get brain dances. Death's head. Uh, interesting. So. So I don't think so. Uh, I have. Uh, you stink of junk food. Oh, shut the hell up. Um, I'll eat what I want. You can't stop me. Interesting. That that is a very Japanese, very sexual-sounding ad in the background. Very intriguing. Uh, so I think we go down. So I was gonna say the XPD. I don't. I've bought it before, but I don't believe that that is strictly necessary. Looking for something wrong. Yeah, I think we just. Uh, I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig under cover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. Huh, <laughs> sure. All he needs to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Curious. I Got have, anything that might interest me? I have to buy it? I thought I could steal it, is the thing, but... I mean, okay, it's like 350 eddies. That's Deep Fried Death's Head Moth. Baby. Baby. That is some uh, some stuff. Acid Bath. Deleted scenes. Oh, I'm sure I want that. I just hate how all these are incompatible. I mean, let me put it this way. I am sad that extra content is not in the game based on these BDs. Now, what these particular BDs have on them, it's probably not safe for life. Let's be honest. Like, anything that says, no arms, no problems, we, we probably don't need to see what's on that to know that that's not safe for life. However, I would, I would like some of the less shady BDs in the game because they do exist. Um, I would like for there to be content on them, but as I believe I have heard, I don't know if it's been outright confirmed by, uh, by CD Projekt Red, but I believe, if I remember hearing correctly, uh, some of this, not this specifically, but some of the other BDs in the game were content at a point, but you can only get away with so much without the game getting rated adults only. Um, so like... They, they might, if they had really committed to the idea like, yeah, we don't care, we're doing a gritty cyberpunk game, they could have gotten away with some shit. Uh, but that would have also probably severely reduced the marketability of the game. Um, so yeah, like, let's see, what else we got here? Just, just see, how not safe for life are we? So Acid Bath, that's pretty straightforward. Hardest Disc. I don't know what that would be, and I'm afraid uh, to ask. So far, the least, 
problematic. Then we've obviously got no arms, no problems. No limb hardcore. The making of. I'll pass. <laughs> In torture mix, volume 15, the making of. Why would you have a making of? <laughs> like, those sound like crimes that you i mean obviously all of this is is underground but like creating a making of assumes that you were like okay with possibly slipping your identity somewhere and that just seems that seems really stupid to me i don't know why maybe i'm just you know a guy who thinks it seems really dumb but yeah so we'll just take the spd so uh let's uh this I might shoot up these tiger claws just for something new. Ah yeah, no, this is definitely active. Okay, let's try this one more time. I don't feel so good. What would you recommend? Poor Jerry. Did Maggie ask you to sleep <laughs> on the couch again? Yeah, that's going in the troubleshoot log. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, is this one not active I yet? I don't okay. feel so good. There, there's a there's a side quest that starts there. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the game, we'll we'll do that one because that one's actually just really funny and it's, it takes like no time at all to do. So good. What would you recommend? All I'm saying is if you like uh, if you like empathetic AI, you'll you'll love this. It's good stuff. Uh, let's see. So, so then, where is this side job? Because that's where that's kind of what I thought that was. Because it does pop as either a side job or a gig later. So I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Oh, I know what this is gonna be. Okay. I. I'll mess with that later, probably. I don't know. I'll think about that one, because that one just kind of like you walk around a bazaar there for a little bit, and then uh, whatever. Okay, so that's high threat. High threat. Uh, let's see. Go to the afterlife. So we are by a fast travel. Yeah, right here is fast travel. Okay, um, let's, yeah, let's go see, let's see if there's any gigs that we can just kind of take care of real quick. Because, like, the, let's see, where was the one, yeah, that's the one that we were failing a bunch of the last time we played. Um, okay, that's that, <laughs> check on Barry. Uh, yeah, let's go check on Barry. Let, let's let's go check on Barry real quick. Because that, that one I know we can... Uh, we can do that real quick. Let's get that resolved. That little subplot that I avoided. You'll all understand why I avoided it. In about probably two minutes here. Or less. We'll come back and sell our shit in a moment. Barry. Barry, you fucking asshole. I'm sorry, okay? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. Your, your genes were fine, Mary. Enjoy You've been the strongest son of a bitch, I Average temperatures this month in my city have remained within. I'm so sorry, Barry. I, I'm sorry. It's great. We we love we love where that went. I I love where that went. When danger lurks. Oh. Uh, yeah, I love where that went. That's great. But yeah, so uh, we're we're done with that mission. Uh, let's see if we can get kind of close to this. Yeah, that's not too bad. Travel to Martin Street. 
we'll uh, just do this real quick. It's, it's just like you need to go grab someone, I think. So this should take me maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then probably we'll call it for this one. Just because I've still got to go to work in the morning and sleep, all that. Uh, so let's go this way. I believe we're in Maelstrom territory here. I'd be willing to bet that's probably what I'm hearing. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking at some Maelstrom shenanigans. Just ping so I can see what. Well, the shotgun certainly is improved. Alright, uh... Ooh, that dude is carrying sniper ammo. Hold up. Does that mean we got a sniper somewhere nearby? Because, boy, I would love a sniper rifle. That would just make my whole freaking day. Holy crap. Alright, hold on. We're gonna ping real quick. I just wanna see what, what are we messing with. Oh, we're messing with just these three dudes. Okay, um... Hold on, I need to check if I've got any fun gun. Uh, ooh, yeah, that'll work. That, that do factor in as a fun grenade. Let's, uh... End of the line for you! Never run out of fucking ammo! Ah. Alright, well that's, uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I did say it started shooting. We might be on fire. Uh, I'm glad to know I did not disappoint in this regard. As you all know, I am here for the content. My frustration is second. Ah, uh, yep, like that. <laughs> so, let's see. Does do the checkpoint gods have mercy on us? twice in one night or do I have to go shotgun those other two gonks again uh it would appear they are demanding a second blood sacrifice okay that is fine I can vibe Do we have Maelstrom over here at all? Or... You're not Maelstrom. Interesting. Okay. So they're... What are they? All over here then? Do I have to deal with like... What is that? Five or six at once? No, just three. Okay. I don't know. That's weird. But that's okay. Like I said... We will indeed vibe with that. Um, let's try this. Sick. Ah, I hear the other two. Get out of here, alive! Circle around him! Yep, 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 yep. Um, if I hadn't stuck that grenade to the bumper of the car in front of me, that was off to my left. Instead of the car in front of me, that was definitely where I was aiming. 
That would have gone differently. But alas, here we are. Let me, let me go this way. Because if it didn't checkpoint me with the healing items, then I know there are healing items over here. So we can uh, pick a few of those up. And my hope is that perhaps there's a small chance that these guys get distracted again in the same way that I found them originally. Alright, so it's a tactician. Let's do. And actually, uh, the melee weapon is probably useless for us right now. I'm being honest. Uh, let's flip over to this revolver because this is high single point damage, so we can like get some some alpha strike on these guys. Ooh. Hold on, I walked too far, didn't I? Or maybe not far enough. No, probably too far in one direction, but that's okay. Let's go actually do the gig we came here for, get that done, and then if I've got some time after, we'll still do those guys. Uh, let's see. Five hundred bucks. We'll take that. I th oh, yeah. see, I thought I remembered there being someone here. Come here, you. Pink. Join my rave. Aha! And this is why you always pink. Always. No. Although generally you want to do more with the Elmer's prize than I did there. That that was um, poorly executed. However. Four regular frags. Let's go with those. Ah! Dead. Come on, you pussy! I don't think so. Let's just do this real quick. Tap that little reboot optics button. He blinded me! Yes, I did. Thank you for noticing. Ah, ah, ah. I'll put your legs. Bye-bye. Ah. Alright, so that went... Ugh. Ugh. I'm on fire again. I was going to say that went better than I thought it would, but then I got lit on fire and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of how I thought that might end. But I'm alive. I was lit on fire, and I am still alive, so that is, uh, improvement over the last time I tried that. Sick. Let's so, this listen. Is. Maelstrom's got this Ripper doc. Thing is, they're keeping her against her will, forcing her to work. Could you go uh, grab her from those psychos? Her brother would be grateful. Deets attached. So, yeah, this gig is gonna be... a challenge. I do know what this gig is, but... This is going to be very interesting. Um, I mean, like usual, um, we can do this loud and stupid, or at least try. Here. We'll try loud and stupid. Let me make sure I drop a safety save here just in case this does not go like I think it might. Or rather, so if it does go like I think it might, then we can have a good spot to kind of. Ah, uh, let's see. All right, so we're going to breach. Uh, let's go. Uh, all these nodes are trash, uh, but then we can do this. Right away. And then we can pay. Show him up fast. Show me what we got. Right. Go and look. You got it. Hold 
is only a part of that problem it is not the whole problem. Oh that's really bad. that uh, definitely worked out a lot better than I expected it to. Um, despite the fact that we got definitely caught out uh, and that that was not what I would call an ideal approach to that, it worked. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll turn that off. It's fine. Actually, let me see. Do I have a network control on this one? I do. Let's power that down. Uh, Alright, so we're going to check. I'm just going to check around the place real quick because I believe there are some things that uh, we can acquire from this That'll make up for some of the healing meds I had to drop because, uh, dudes suck. Let's see. Because, yeah, I've got five max stocks. So, like, I'm finding the damage balancing on this patch, by the way, is actually a lot better. Um, because I don't feel like my healing items are actually infinite. So, this is actually definitely a nice difficulty improvement. Alright, so let's see. So, that's, uh, yeah. One C. Five, 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 five. There we go. Get us some extra money. Let's do it again. Alright, we're gonna do. Do we have a BD on the top row? BD, we do not have an E9 below it. So let's see. Um. Let's see, so if I do this, 5-5, five, five. let's see, can I drop a 5-5 five, five BD to an E9? Yeah, I can. So 5-5 five, five BD E9 once. There we go, so we got two of them. Cool, all right. 
So that's something. I'll take it. Uh, is this just the door outside? No. What have we got in here? Max stock. We like those. All right. Um. Okay. So I could have been misremember. Hold on. Is this back here? Yeah, so I'm thinking I was misremembering that there, I thought there was some kind of epic in here, or maybe I just got a lucky drop on one of my previous playthroughs. That's also entirely possible. Like I said, not a professional challenge runner. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. That's okay. Uh, so uh, let's see, 1C, BD, BD. Yeah, I think 1C, BD, BD is like the best we can do here. Yeah, with a buffer of four, I think one CP DVD is the only thing we can really do. Still fine. Breach protocoling is... It'll be worth it, because eventually we will start seeing, like, perk points off of it and stuff, so... Better to do that than to, uh, to leave this stuff lying around. I think. So, yeah, let's go talk with Lucy now, finally. Or maybe this is where I thought there was stuff. Maybe this is it. Don't shoot. I'm a doctor. I'm not part of the gang. I know. You're Lucy Thackeray. Uh, Tex blacked out again. Piece of shit. And you are? V. Your brother sent me to get you out of here. Bertie? Okay. Okay, just a moment. Look, we don't have time for this. That they've got in here belongs in a scrapyard. We got a Delta now. Since you're still here, run a scan on him. Pressure's falling. Same with the temperature. He's going into shock. I'll try to stem the bleeding. You, give him a unit of synth blood. Come on, it's on the table. First from the left. Just not in my hand. Okay, gotta wait a bit before it closes up. Just finish up already. All right, crisis averted, looks like. Rest he'll just have to sleep off. So she's gonna be Thanks. real disappointed. Now we can go. When she finds out we blasted every one of the dude's comrades on the way in. So her saving him is probably not a good thing. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's all I'm gonna say is I think- Keep close to me, head down. I mean, it doesn't really matter, dude. We, we, we murdered everyone here. Like, there, there's no Come one on. else that can get Just us. a little farther. She is safe, we safe, it's all good. And then where's you ride, the... get in. Ah, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the car? That makes sense though, it's not right outside. It's like just on the block a little bit. Sick. Cool. There's that call hey, I was expecting. Hey, Lucy's safe. Cream work. Thanks. Sick. All right. Got some shotgun ammo. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, that dude's missing half his body. I like it. Okay. That, oh yeah, that dude's the guy I needed. That makes a lot of sense. Um, oh yeah, this is like another way in, I think. It should be at least. I don't, for whatever reason, it's not on me. Whoopsie daisy, hold on. Might be better if I can land the jumps and stuff. There we go. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, Oh, well, that's a hacker point, so I can at least get some extra of these. Because I believe we need 15,000 to pay off Rogue for the next part of the main story. So, let's see. Uh, 551C. Five, five, see, can I do 551C, five, 55E9? Five, five, I can! 551C, five, five, 
Bye bye. And breach protocol. Cool. So we got our uh, perk level up. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna check time again real quick. Okay. Uh, so it's almost half past midnight here. Um. Uh, let's see. So just eyeballing this real quick. Um, is there any other like kind of quick gigs that I can do? Probably not. Probably not. Um, the thievery one. No, the thiever, the thievery one I might be able to do. Um, but yeah, I think I think I'm okay to call it. I think I'm, I'm chill with that, honestly. Really, I, you know what? Let me, I'm, that's the one thing we are gonna do. I'm gonna look, hold on. Uh, filter is this button, okay. Um, okay, so that's a melee weapon vendor. Where's a gun vendor? Cause what I really, really want is a sniper rifle. That would be awesome. So if I can find my way to a sniper rifle, I will be extremely happy. I'm gonna just check back here real quick because this looks like the sort of spot that someone would stash something. And um, usually when my loot goblin senses start going off, I, I need to listen to them. Okay, so far nothing. I thought I saw a little green thing there. I'm like, more healing items? No. That's okay. Ugh. What the hell? Wait a minute. What the hell is this assigned for? Just like Johnny Silverhand's arm. Oh, this is where we just were. Hold on. What is this? Clean cut medical services. Ah, I see. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's go, let's go to this weapon vendor. Let's see if they've got any guns for us. I'm very happy to buy something like a Nekomata because to find one would mean we have to deal with someone who is using a Nekomata, and I don't really deal with someone dealing uh, with me using an Ekamata because they're notoriously pesky so if I can get an Ekamata with like a the, uh, zoom through cover site I will be a happy happy man um, That's interesting that those lock lights are on, because it it implies that we could get in there, but it didn't look uh, it didn't skill check me on anything. So very interesting. Kind of curious if that means anything. Kabuki. All right. You know, I didn't think about it, but yeah, Kabuki being this close to Maelstrom territory really does make a certain kind of sense. Who are you? Who am I? Uh, I mean, no one of particular importance. Just an immortal. Um, this got the gunshot. Yeah, baby, it's the gunshot. Uh, hey, how's it going? Scabs give you a lot of trouble around here. Some days, sure. Other days, eh, not so much. But me personally, well, yeah. they know better. Yeah, they, they probably don't mess with the dude who has We're gonna buy some new a wall line. full of guns. A few and, dozen uh, pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. You got it, man. Let's see what you got. Got me a Nekomata? 
Um, no, he does have legendary defender and a DR5 Nova, but not a snipper rifle. Which is very sad, because I would really like a snipper rifle. Like, really, really bad. Uh, ooh, but these frags ain't that much. Let me see, do I have any junk? I don't. Okay. I do have a bunch of guns, though, that I could sell. And I am not opposed to doing exactly that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the copperhead. Let's see. So this is high amount of attacks, but low damage. I like my little hand cannon. It is better, I believe, than these for now. So we'll get rid of those. A Shigure, I don't really need. Unity, absolutely, I don't need. Nope. And Bloodsland Power. Yeah, it's not as good as my Overture. I'm good. Sick. And this Carnage. Um, well, I will say that is a uh, very tempting thing to hold around. Uh, it's a white quality weapon, so maybe we could do better. I'm debating that. That's okay. I think I'll hold it for now because I'd rather think to myself, hey, I could maybe do better than that later than to sell it and know I can't do better at the moment. What the hell? Why can't you come down here? Oh, it's a shooting range. That makes a certain kind of sense. Oh, but I, but I cannot pull. This is the one. This is one of those things that I really wish that they would do better. Um, is that they would allow me to shoot my guns at the shooting range. That would be very nice if they just did that. Oh, I thought I. <laughs> For a second, I thought I went through the door, and then that was the same door that I was just saying it was locked. I'm like, ah, uh, what? I just get locked in the room with a bunch of gun nuts? What the hell happened? Fury! Carnage! Rude! Follow your instincts! Mm, okay. So angry dude just told me to kill a lot of people, so, uh, I mean, I'd, it'd be rude to say no to him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and then... Yeah, then this is just kind of generally bizarre that here. Interesting, some racist stuff going on out here. Oh yeah. Looking for a change. Come on then. Time to tinker. You got it, my dude. What have you got for me? Um That is entirely well, okay, so that is a berserk. So I do not really need it. Um, but I do need some street cred. The Raven Micro Cyber looks real hot. I like that a lot. Um, see, I know Raven stuff, or no, uh, no net running stuff that I can really like use to enhance me right now. Crit chance by two is pretty good, though. Um, I might take that. Because, yeah, we've already got a better heal on kill. And then this one, we just need some intelligence. So, let's get that limbic system enhancement. Just because that sounds like a pretty good time to me. And then, uh, let me... Oh, can I not... Hold on. Yeah, it won't let me mod them here. I just mod them in my own inventory, I guess. That's fine. Immune system. Shocking awe. 2% chance. Nah, I'd rather not. Nervous system. Neofiber. Mitigation by 1. Mitigation strength by 10. Uh, synaptic and Karenzikov. I mean, I, I could. I don't really think I need to, but it could. Ooh, but this dude got that subdermal. Hold up. Hold up. That's actually really good. That's incredibly good. Holy moly. Okay. So we need a lot of street cred to buy from this dude. Um, 
And that's just immunity to shock. That's immunity to burn. Supradermal weave. Oh, baby. Okay, so this guy's got all kinds of fun stuff for us. Okay. Uh, can I can I layer subderms? Because this is better than my current one, so this is still worth buying. I would love to. I can't layer them. That is to be expected. Um, although, let me sell... Yeah, so it's only 320, but that's still worth selling. It's not like we're going to use it. Uh, let's see. We got two available leg items, neither of which are in my inventory. Skeleton. What's this? Mm, attack speed by five. I'll take it. Sure. Just equip that. So basically, we'll just cyber out here. And uh, let's see. So we still got 8,000 eddies. That's actually impressive. Um, that's actually super nice that we've still got that much. We only spent two grand here. Net. Aim and shoot while sliding or dodging. Slows time by 50% when blocking. Okay. I think I'll take the Neo Fiber as well. Just because we don't have anything in that slot right now, and having a little extra mitt chance and mitt uh, power means that, like, if we do get shot at, this will help us out a little bit. And it's better than a zero, which is currently what we're dealing with. Okay. This is weird too, because normally I'm used to this uh, area being full of dudes that we can just like shoot the crap out of. Okay, this is a hotel. What's this? Okay. That works for me. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's make ourselves some of that money back that we just augmented ourselves with. Uh, so we're going to do... Uh, do I have an Eni at the top? I don't. Can I get a good Eni, or is there just one on the whole board? Just one on the whole board. Um... Well, but that's okay, actually. Because then I could just do this. E9, 1C, 5, 5. Still staple down two of those for me. Do that real quick. Alright, and we're gonna just go up here. Da, da, da. Oh. oh, yeah, that's the yeah, app, baby. Here for that. All right. So interesting. Um. Let's see. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh man, it had to be chest. Come on. Nine hundred of these. That was pretty good. That's what I should do. I should be selling off all that uh, extra gear that I've got in my uh, inventory. Would probably be a good thing to get rid of. Either at a local drop point or something similar. A assault rifle or submachine gun muzzle break. 10% ricochet chance rate 20, recoil by 10. Ricochet damage in halves, crit chance. That might just be worth it anyway, honestly, considering I'm not really going for a like, heavy stealth build my current gun so that might actually work out um, on earth. hold up oh that's tech ability darn okay that's fine um Let's 
see, is there a front door to this place, or do I just gotta go out the way I came in, I guess? Yeah, I guess we'll just go out the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think this is where I'm supposed to come for the, uh, like, cop informant mission. Wait, is she not here right now? Oh, that's even better. Holy crap, hold on. We can just raid this place while she's not here. That's actually super nice. Got a bunch of stuff that I can like sell off. Some meds. What else? Anything? No? Okay. So that's interesting, because it's like. Unless. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Does this lead outside? Only if you got the tag. Okay, hold on. Is tech really the only way I get in or out of the front door of this place? Holy crap. I mean, I guess... Okay, no, because actually I know why that is. Because I, I have bought entrance to this before. And um, I think when you buy your way in, it allows you through those doors. Because you get whatever, like, the... Hotel or motel security token is, and then you just go from there. Um, and I'm just easing myself through the here so I don't take time that much. Um, okay. Yeah, because like this would be the normal way in, and to get in, you need to pay. That explains it. That explains it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Can I? Go fuck yourself! Nah, you. Oh, uh, yeah, everyone's just jamming in. Oh, shit, guns. Why is that the. Oh, you know what? That's probably just the gun range. Resistant Disorder. Another good song. For the rent. First, my kid's sick, then that firefight scared me. Flashbangs. Bounce oh, yes. back. V, try to get inside. Oh, yeah. An explosion of Jace. That's right. I know where I know where we I don't know the key to get inside offhand. I'd have to Google it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fool around with it, because I believe uh, as I recall you only get one shot to get in there ahead of the end of the game. So basically it's like enter the code correctly the first time or don't get in at all until you story so I'll hold off on that because I would like to show you guys kind of what, what's in there this is a promise uh, but <laughs> let's see um, so we've got map uh, let's see so there's service points which is custom dynamic interesting yeah, so I think uh, we're at a pretty good stopping point here. Let me just fast travel. I'll go back to these apartment real quick. And that way I can at least sell all my stuff at the, uh, the drop. Yeah, there it is, the drop point. Get that done.
All right. So let's go over here. Let's sell. And yeah, so guns we've sold. Uh, melee weapons. This is a whole untapped market. Um. So I got a blunt. I've got a blunt weapon. Stoners, don't laugh at me. Um. And then I've got uh, this sharp sword boy. Um. Ooh, but we did get some head armor that I did not notice. Hello. And that is actually a pretty good deal. Uh, I will take that. Um, and then that's worth some money. That's worth some money. Yeah, so basically, like, we're just going to, like, get rid of anything that doesn't comply with the run. Uh, explosion reduction. That's fine. Armor is better, but I, let me see, what, because is this all mods? Yeah, that is all mods. Uh, zero drag, tenacity, uh, yeah, that's not really, not really important. Prospect, uh, I believe that's a sniper scope, so that's probably why we can't really use it on anything. Uh, oh yeah, and then these are not worth a ton um ooh but i can sell all my booze cuz i don't really feel like uh don't really feel like dealing with being drunk that'll be another challenge run for another time oh yeah let me just uh sell both of those Chateau de Lynn. Filtered rainwater. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Because the the air is, uh, well, for one, it's polluted as all hell, but two, it's specifically polluted, at least in part, with a small degree of radiation. Uh, not radiation. That would be dumb sounding. Uh, radioactive particulate, like matter that went up as dust. Because um, they cleaned the city for the most part. But uh, so like during Cyberpunk Red, which is about 30 years before this, the center of the city is a wasteland. So like what what makes the corporate plaza in this game? Like where Arasaka Tower is, where um, the Militech building is, like that whole central roundabout in the city uh, is a nuclear hot zone after Johnny Silverhand bombed Arasaka Tower. So in the time of the Red, that all is very dangerous. Um, it's basically a massive combat zone and is just really, really dangerous to be in. Uh, of course, with danger comes reward. So if you are stupid or brave enough, there's a very thin line between the two. If you're stupid or brave, brave enough to go through with that and like explore the area, you might find some stuff there. Um, in the uh, the book, uh, the core rule book for the game, they talk about approaching it kind of like a uh, hidden treasure tr uh, hidden treasure hunt, a la Disney or something like that, where you get like the pirate map and you can just like go and explore. Um, so if you if someone gives you that that treasure map so to speak, telling you that there's something real, real good down there, and you really, really should go and check it out, uh, it might be worth your time to do so. Of course, they could also be feeding you the scabs or something, but, you know, uh, take a chance. Maybe you get rich or something. You never know. Like uh, my friends and I always say, you'll be fine. You'll maybe get some treasure or something. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be fine. Let's see. Um, yeah, we don't really need that. It's like, I got to think about the hats, but I don't need to think at all about like the shirts or anything here. All right. And then those shoes aren't great. Either of those, either of those. Okay. And then, yeah, that 
we can get rid of as well. Okay. So let's adjust our threads real quick here. Um, yeah, that looks like some kind of uh, dude that would say, Sir, I don't take too kindly to your mocking of my nudity. This is a man that means business. He will take your girl. And um, he will beat you up. You don't even need to, like, offend him. He'll just do it out of principle. Because you look like you needed that in your life. That's what this face tells me. That's, that's my read on it. Um, but so, yeah. So, we got that equipped. So, let me just finish selling the last, like, two things here. Because I believe... Yeah, so we can get rid of that and that. So we're down to those. We got rid of anything there that wasn't great. Mods. Um, I'm going to hold the mods for now. I don't think they really weigh enough to justify getting rid of it. Oh, we may... <laughs> I asked a couple of... Uh, like, I think it was on the first episode if I wasted money on one of these. And it looks like I may have wasted money on one of these. That's okay, though. Um, I might actually hold on to it, because if we go deep enough in the game, that up that may be upgradable if we don't find a blue copy sooner um, than that. So that that's probably Okay. Yeah, so let's just... Uh, head in here. All right. So let's drop down that save. All right, so there's that, and then I'll go to the main menu. Confirm. Alrighty, and then let me. Take you back to my beautiful face. All right. So all things considered, uh, I would definitely say that was all right, we got through clouds. Uh, we got through the deal with fingers. We got through one gig, uh, a little roughly, but we got through it. So yeah, uh, definitely a little bit of a shorter stream. Again, I apologize for that. Uh, as a result of the episode that when I refine this goes up on YouTube, probably a little shorter. But that might be for the best. Um, but yeah, in any case, thank you everyone who joined me tonight. Um, I should, with any luck, I keep saying I want to do this on Thursdays, and every Thursday I've had thus far has been busy with stuff. So, I will start doing these on Thursdays eventually. Uh, next week, unless something else comes up, Thursday should be the day. But again, if something changes, Discord, Twitter, uh, on Twitter, at TSH underscore Emeron, uh, and on Discord, I'm in the uh, link below there, if you want to join the personal Discord, if you want to hang out there. Uh, both places, I announce when I go live, I announce, uh, you know, what's going on. Um, but yeah, hope to see you there, hope to see you next week, uh, but yeah, in the meantime, have a good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.